Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical, and today for you guys got some Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep news and information. We've got some very, very cool information, more news um, towards the actual length of Kingdom Hearts 0.2. Now, uh, previous to this news, basically what we knew about 0.2 Birth by Sleep's length, which is of course included in Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which is set to release next year. We knew that basically the game is going to be a short Kingdom Hearts installment, so it's not going to be like a fully fledged normal Kingdom Hearts game, the length of something like Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, or like Dream Drive Distance or Birth by Sleep. Uh, we knew that basically it's going to be a very short Kingdom Hearts game, which is going to be about the length of one regular world. So from that, we kind of took it, you know, 0 0.2 is probably going to be about an hour to maybe an hour and a half, but we actually have some news towards the length, more accurate um, information um, towards the overall length of 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, which I find extremely exciting. So recently, a uh, Game Informer interviewed Tetsuya Nomura about 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep and, you know, 2.8, and this is what was stated. BBS 0 0.2 will take a few hours to complete, which Nomura stresses that it includes the same volume of gameplay as a regular world, which from Nomura's words apparently will take place at the Castle of Dreams. So we already knew what world this is really going to take place in. Yes, the Castle of Dreams, Cinderella's world. But there it is right there. So the overall length of 0.2 Birth by Sleep is actually going to take a few hours, not a couple of hours, not one hour, a few hours, which can obviously mean more than, you know, more than two, um, to actually complete the game. Now, in terms of how long you're actually going to be playing the game, you know, like, with the controller, with the controller playing it, doing those commands, seeing Aqua jiggle around, you know, slaying those Heartless and the, in the darkness, is going to be the length of, uh, you know, a regular world. Now, it, yeah. So, basically what this means right here is regular world. This kind of confuses me. Is he referring to a regular world of, like, the worlds that we have currently in the Kingdom Hearts games? Or perhaps, maybe, is he referring to the length of the worlds that perhaps, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to include? Now, if you look at a normal Kingdom Hearts game, it takes probably about 40 minutes to about an hour and 20, an hour and 30 minutes to complete one world. And that's taking, you're not like rushing through the world, you're kind of, you know, taking your time exploring through it. It takes anywhere between like 40 minutes to like an hour and a half to complete the world. But we know that, of course, in Kingdom Hearts 3, the worlds are going to be way, way bigger on scale. They're going to be huge. So, um, you know, obviously it's going to take longer to complete the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3. I would say that to complete one world in Kingdom Hearts 3, it's probably going to take, like, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Um, just due to the scale of, you know, the worlds that are going to be in that game. So perhaps, maybe, is he referring to regular worlds for Kingdom Hearts 3? Or is he referring more so to regular worlds in the, you know, Kingdom Hearts games that we have now? I believe it's more so the, you know, the, the worlds that we have um, in the Kingdom Hearts games at the moment. But uh, that is very interesting. I'd say that there is going to be a lot of cutscenes. So the case that he might be trying to explain here is, you know, it, it's going to be like 40 minutes minutes to an hour and a half of gameplay like a regular world um, and then the rest is pretty much just all cutscenes because uh, we know that there is going to be a lot going on um, in 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep uh, to do with you know Aqua, her time in the Realm of Darkness, King Mickey, um, perhaps some stuff leading up to Kingdom Hearts 3 which would obviously mean that there is probably going to be a lot of cutscenes which is fine because um, we do know that 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep actually leads into Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. So um, anyway, that's just some really exciting news right there um, because honestly, from the information that we had previously received, it kind of just felt like, you know, 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep was only going to last about an hour um, or so. And yeah, it was kind of like, that's, that's not bad, but yeah, I would kind of like it to be a little bit longer. But the fact that it's actually going to take a few hours to complete, I think is just brilliant. It's fantastic. So that is the confirmation right there. I honestly cannot wait um, for 2016. It is going to be a fantastic year for Kingdom Hearts, especially 2.8. 2.8 is absolutely just 
exciting. Yeah, I'm so fucking hyped for that game. And of course, we have Jump Fest that's coming up very shortly. Um, you know, new trailer, so super, super hype. Lots of cool stuff going on at the moment. So anyway, guys, I've been Cynical. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.